we have the chance to really hear from someone who has been impacted with this with this whole substance abuse, but really is doing great things and making a difference. And his man, name is Michael DeMeo, who is a student at Villanova. He graduates in May at Villanova University. Yes, we're going to say that, Mike. And he is the founder and director of The Infinite Mission. He is a father, he's a brother, and he's also a veteran. He is someone you know, and here he is to tell you his story in his own words. Michael? Hello. Wow, what an honor. So thank you, Lorena. And as Lorena said, my name is Michael DeMeo, and uh, I was here back uh, in 2019 for a day on the hill with the Foundation Someone You Know campaign. I am so honored to be back on our nation's capital again. And I want to thank the IBX Foundation for giving me another opportunity to spread recovery awareness. Telling our stories is such a powerful resource for anyone in recovery. And our experiences deserve to be heard. I myself am in, in long-term recovery. And the more we share our stories, the more we work to break from the stigma against substance use disorder, and the more we reaffirm that recovery is possible. And the most challenging obstacles in life can be overcome and that we can even go on to do great things. When I was in my active addiction, my drug of choice was, drugs of choice were crack and heroin. My addiction began when I was 19 and it continued to control my life for 23 years until I finally surrendered at the age of 43. I had been an IV drug user and my, at the end of my addiction, I was no longer employable I had no friends, I was estranged from my family, and my relationship with my son was in tatters. I was hopeless, helpless, and completely desperate. And then by the grace of God, on September 13th, 2013, I was plucked up from that place of despair and placed in the care of a treatment center. After the treatment, I was brought to a 12-step program, and in the first year of my recovery, I worked the 12 steps, and somewhere along my journey, I had the spiritual awakening. My life changed, and my life continues to change. Today, I have a life that is rich and beautiful. I have amazing friends. I have a relationship with my son, and I'm no longer missing out on their lives. While I was in treatment, every morning, the therapist would say, every morning for 28 days, if you leave here and you get involved in a 12-step program and you go through the 12 steps, your life will change beyond your wildest dreams. And I'm here to tell you, my life truly is beyond my wildest dreams. I used to dream about becoming a student, and now I get to utilize my educational benefits as a veteran. I graduated from Bucks County Community College with an associate's degree in paralegal studies. In the spring of 2020, I finished my semester online because of COVID. I then transferred into Villanova University and plan to graduate May of 2023 with a bachelor's degree in public service and administration. I'm also an intern at the Bucks County District Attorney's Office. But beyond all that, <laughs> I am the founder of a 501c3 organization called The Infinite Mission. We provide outreach to those that are struggling with substance use disorder and homelessness. And uh, that work, the work I've done with that community truly has been life-changing and life-affirming. I believe it's important to highlight that I am a veteran student and I've always had an endless amount of support at both Bucks County Community College and at Villanova. I always had access to a veterans counselor whom I can talk to whenever. I always had a safe place in the veterans center to decompress, chat with other veterans, drink coffee, and even study. I am not the traditional undergrad student. I haven't experienced the peer pressures or challenges that other that the typical student might endure. However, I have experienced the extreme academic stress and other life challenges that could have triggered a relapse had I not had the support that I needed. For this reason, I believe that every campus needs a collegiate recovery program because I can't imagine being 19 trying to stay recovery with no support on a college campus. A campus that supports recovery is crucial. It's also an excellent opportunity for students to connect and support each other. The ultimate goal of a collegiate recovery program is to allow recovering students to participate in a recovery program while achieving their educational goals. People do recover. We go on to do, we go on to accomplish amazing things. Just nine years ago, I couldn't stop putting a needle in my arm. 
and I never would have imagined myself sharing my story with all of you, yet here I am today, speaking in Washington, D.C., and in seven months, I'll graduate from Villanova University with a bachelor's degree. Thank you. A, college, a collegiate recovery program is just one more tool in the toolbox, and it's necessary so students like me can live beyond their wildest dreams, too. Recovery fills the painful hole in the soul that addictions create. People often feel so physically well that they believe the work is done. However, joy is not the absence of pain, but the gift of a continued spiritual awakening. We must always be ready and support those in recovery to help them grow and evolve, especially if they are to survive the challenges that come as a student. They cannot recover alone and must be offered every resource possible to thrive. I'm going to end with one of my favorite quotes. As long as the ties that bind us together are stronger than those that would tear us apart, all will be well.